Let's take a closer look at the sigma x variation on the front face. So I'll click on the z-axis to get the view along the front face. And I'll zoom in using the right mouse button. And so I can see that the uh, sigma x goes from high tension to high compression um, in the middle of the crank. And if I click on max here, it shows me the location of the maximum. So that's where the tension is maximum. And if I click on minimum, that's the highest negative value. So that's where the compression is maximum. So sigma x goes from high tension on the lower fiber to high compression on the upper fiber. And it must go through a zero, which is where the neutral axis is. So I can click on probe. And if I probe the values around here, somewhere here it transitions from positive to negative. So the neutral axis is located somewhere over here. And I can increase the number of contours. So if I come here, click on the color bar, and I click here, I can increase the number of contours. So this view um, then is consistent with what one expects from uh, classical beam theory.